Now, let's still stay in the Ashanti region where some residents at Kenyasi at Chiasi in the Ashanti region are reported to be receiving death threats days after some alleged kidnappers were arrested in the area. One woman who has been a target after speaking to the media had to relocate for fear of attack. Another thing, Sector Bureau Chief Kofi Edu Domfe joins us live on Skype from the Ashanti region for more. So, Kofi, tell us, is there a sense of insecurity in the Ashanti region? Well, good afternoon to you, Grace. So, uh, the security situation in the area is actually twofold. Uh, first, there are artisans uh, like basins and uh, carpenters who are uh, engaged in construction activities in, in the area. And some of them are temporarily accommodated in um, some uncompleted buildings and other uh, makeshift uh, structures. These and um, other residents of um, Achiansi uh, fear they may be targeted uh, should the police move in for any uh, mop-up operation that's for possible accomplices in, in, in this uh, uh, kidnapping operation. So for these people, uh, the, the, there is a sense of insecurity based on them being targeted as suspects uh, for uh, arrest. Then there is this second group of residents who fear uh, that allies of the kidnappers uh, who were arrested will target them uh, for harm. And for this reason, there is a call for police protection. And also the media has also been cautioned uh, to be circumspect in, in exposing uh, individuals who volunteer information on incidents uh, that led to the uh, rescue operation. Hello, Grace. Yes, Kofi, I'm asking what we know about the ownership of the house where the kidnappers held their victims. Have we had somebody coming up to claim ownership of the house? Okay, so, so this two-bedroom house is said to be owned by a man who is currently uh, based in uh, Mauritania. Interestingly, he, he only got to know uh, that his house uh, that was actually his house after the rescue operation. And, and the person who had been contracted to build a house is said to have sent a photograph to, to, to the man of, of a different house and ostensibly to deceive him of the stage of the project. So it's not clear if he will return home after this incident. So the owner is currently not in the country and is based in Mauritania. But has it been declared as a security zone so that it can help the police with investigations? I mean, are people prevented from gaining access to the place or it's open? So as at um, midday, uh, let's say 11 uh, a.m. yesterday when I was around the area, the place had not been cordoned. But just when um, myself and the team were leaving the scene, a team of uh, CID and um, other security personnel were in the area and the later cording of uh, the place. So as, as we speak now, the place has been cordoned and uh, the police uh, have gone into further investigation. Okay, so away from Kenya, so we know the TV3 office is at Asqua and let's look at this general mood in Asqua and the surrounding environs. Do they have the same feeling as that of Kenya? And Nasukwa is also not too far from Ahojo, where uh, the two uh, Canadians were abducted. And uh, this uh, abduction, the, the Canadian abduction episode comes a month after a similar incident involving an Indian businessman. So there is the general public concern that the security apparatus mm. should work at preventing such kidnapping acts rather than going on a rescue mission. All right. Thank you very much for speaking.